what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. Today we are finally getting our dining room table, which is really exciting because I have not had a place to work other than the couch for, I mean, ever since we moved into the place because Ryan took my desk and I have my desk. Um, I gave I gave Ryan my desk, <laughs> but I ordered my desk and it should be here like January, hopefully. And honestly, a dining room table wasn't a priority for me because I really wanted the breakfast table first, but um, the dining table was actually in stock. So we're driving up to the CB2 outlets to pick it up because um, delivery, I can't remember if like they didn't offer it or if it was just like stupid expensive. Um, so hopefully the table fits in my car. Um, but if not, I think Ryan said we could just like tie it up on the top of my car. We already have the dining room chairs. It actually got delivered during Thanksgiving and my friend Kiana was so nice and she just like pushed them through the door because I was like a little worried that these big boxes would be, you know, on our patio. But I haven't opened them. So I guess we're just gonna open everything and set everything up today and see how it looks. Pulling up on all these warehouses. How far are we? We're one minute away. It literally fits perfectly in my car. I cannot believe this. this place is a mess so we first need to get it cleaned out so that we can build the table in here and probably the chairs I'm not sure if the chairs came assembled but I guess we're gonna figure it out when we open them up so I went into the garage and wrote down all the boxes so I put those in my car probably gonna take them over to um, our old apartment building and just like put them in the trash room because I mean we're still paying for a lease for maybe a whole other week so might as well use the amenities like the trash ballet so we're gonna do that and then put all these wood um like the wood floors in the garage where i just cleared out and we returned a good amount of wood i think we got like almost 300 dollars back right mm. just from the the wood floors because we overbought but a lot of people said that sometimes wood floors can like be discontinued or like the specific color that you have so i kept a couple of them just in case Anything happens, but hopefully nothing happens to our floors because they're brand new. I couldn't even imagine anything happening because they like glued them down really nicely. So, anyways, let's stop rambling and get back to work. You want them in the garage? Yeah, I cleared it. I cleared on the left side. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a pause on the dining room table because we have someone from Lowe's coming out to check our fence. I told Ryan what I want for my birthday this year is a new fence and i didn't vlog my birthday but it actually happened um like two days after thanksgiving it was on that saturday november 25th so happy birthday to all my sad sisters and brothers um but yeah so i really want a new fence because it just it's giving willy wonka i don't know how to explain it other than that but it just like is looking a little rough and there's a lot of places that like um planks broke so they boarded it up and it's just not looking you know as good as it can and i really wanted to get it done before it this friday but i know that is definitely not realistic because i want to shop around for quotes this friday i'm actually celebrating my birthday for the hundredth time i feel like i've been celebrating for the past two weeks but honestly i feel like if your birthday is like around a holiday that people travel for you get it because like i want to celebrate with my friends here but i went home for thanksgiving so then i celebrated there and then i also have a girls night birthday thing that I'm doing this Friday. We are doing a hibachi night, so that's why I wanted the fence to get done before then, because it's in the backyard. Um, but it's okay, because literally we just moved into here and I don't want to rush everything. In an ideal world, we would get a horizontal fence that lines up like this. Currently, we have the fence that goes like this, like a normal fence. But when I was looking at fences online, those were definitely more expensive. And then I saw really nice like plastic ones, which I was like, okay, maybe we could get those because they weren't that expensive. But then I was reading reviews and saw that they faded really easily. You guys here, but basically I was just thinking maybe it wouldn't like withstand the Texas heat. 
the fence guy just left and this is what we're working with. I think I'm showing you definitely like, you know, the worst side of it all, but it's not great. So I personally have been dreading doing anything with the fence because we have to like talk to our neighbors and the guy was like, you know, you can ask them to pitch in for the fence, but if they were fine with it this whole time, like why would they pitch in? It's kind of like setting yourself up for failure. Like, hey, this costs this much. Do you want to help? Like, obviously no. Like, you're the one that wants it. And all of the other fences are the same. So I'm kind of worried that they're going to be like, well, you're getting the new fence and it's going to look weird with all of our older fences. I might just have Ryan do that, even though he's like the introverted one. Anything like confrontational just scares me too much. But anyways, Ryan's on a call. And I think when he gets off of it, we'll try to... Um, do the dining room table. We're gonna build our dining room table now. Okay, I'm gonna build our dining room table right now. Thanks, babe. What do you do with the hardware? I'm a hardware girl. The box in there, I was like, <laughs> Ryan finished building the table and I got started on the chairs and of course I did it wrong so he's unbuilding it to make it right and then rebuilding it. We have six of these and they're giving us a hard time. There's like a lot with these little chairs. The guy just came to come and fix this, just like refinish it. Basically, there was molding on it that I didn't like, so he just ended up taking it off. And this is what it looks like. And obviously it doesn't look great. I mean, you can't really tell on the camera, but it should look way more finished than that. So we are getting someone to repair it. That hard, uh, it's just like certain things you gotta remember. The thing that sucks about us is the allergies. Mm. I, everyone said I don't really run into that many. It's gonna be six. That way, like six or seven years before you do. That's really? how long it took for me. Oh shit! And then somebody even warned me about that too when I first went. Yeah, just wait about six years. <laughs> it takes that long to build up in your system for some reason. Wow! And then you get allergies. Not good. Shit. You're from Atlanta it's originally. Gonna be cedar, it's gonna be cedar, and it's gonna be the the, the mold or the pollen or something. Yeah, it's what it is. in Atlanta. The pollen is like horrible, and uh, before we left, I was starting to get little. Like we just got back from Thanksgiving. I was starting to get a little like head cold feeling. It's a little bit wobbly, but it's fine. I'm also, oh, yeah, I, see, I went through it. the whole pandemic without getting COVID, and, and but allergies almost took me out. <laughs> a little bit later, we're gonna do some more festive stuff in Austin. We're actually gonna go to the ice skating rink at the Four Seasons. So we're dressed in our little holiday gear. Hopefully, it'll be warm enough in this. I feel like if we're ice skating. I'm gonna be sweating because number one, it makes me nervous because I don't know how to ice skate. And number two, like you're, you're, you're being active. So I feel like I'm gonna be warm, but I wanna show you guys an update on this. I found Brandon on Next Door Neighbor and he did an amazing job. They look so good. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy with them. He's gonna come back another day and like paint them and texturize them because our wall is textured a little bit. So just match it. He's just gonna put some texture. And now this is putting a little fire under my butt to actually stay in those stair noses. So once this is done, then I'll get to that. I think I showed you guys the chairs. Um, we took a little pause because they were frustrating us, but Ryan got one done. So now we got five more to go. Show your fit. Cute. This is what we're going to, Ice Rodeo. Yeah, I feel like you still wouldn't like be by, but it's so beautiful. Double so, The skill. The camera. TCU. Forward. This is so cute. I suck. I didn't vlog any of the food. Basically, we are rushing because I really want to skate. We got here a little bit late, um, but they're closing at 8 and we have like the last time slot. So, we gotta hurry because I really want to ice skate. I haven't done it in, well, I thought it was two years. Ryan says since we were in college. Wait, like two years? Like you were in Lennox. I just thought we would like have gone like in Georgia or something. But I guess the last time we went was on top of Pond City Market, which was a very long time ago. Yeah. So God bless me today because I'm not a skater. Ryan actually is, right? You like did skating. I don't get it. Oh. 
Well, anyways, he did ice skating when he was little, right? Yeah, Oh, rollerbladed. Well, I, I did that like twice and I sucked at that too, so. Watch rocket power? Yeah, I didn't really like it. <laughs> I just, I wasn't very cartoon girl. I was a, yeah, I was a Disney girl. Ryan was a Nickelodeon boy. This is so bougie, guys. Look at this. Bougie. Yeah. <laughs> we got dessert. Oh my god, the corn empanadas were really good. We actually stayed here like a month ago, and I got those there, and so I had to get them again, but look at this. They went all out. And we really need to go skate before they like do last call or something. So let's go. I tense up so much. <laughs> well, your like, back's gonna be going hurting. To be sore. She's about to be like, I need a massage. I need a massage. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna be sore for a very long time, and it was really fun though. I'm glad we got to do it. Now I don't have to do it again this season. That's just... How'd your fall? Did it hurt? Oh yeah, guys, I fell taking pictures of Lauren. I don't know how it happened, guys. Like I just, you know, the next thing I knew, I was on my butt, and I apparently <laughs> made a really loud thud. So that was really fun. So that's also gonna be really sore tomorrow. The next day and i wanted to give you an update on the stairs they look so good right now but i feel like every time i make a little bit of progress in the house like clean up put things away unpack oh my god it just gets like 10 times worse i mean like especially from everything yesterday when we were trying to set up the chairs and the table and then we had to pull out the couch because he was working on that <sighs> I'm just going a little insane, that's all. But here's what the stairs are looking like right now. It is exactly what I wanted. I think I said this yesterday, but our walls are textured, so I don't know if you can see that, but this is a little bit more smooth than the textured walls, so he's going to come back and texturize them and paint them. I think he's actually going to come back and put one more layer of this like joint compound thing, um, and he should be here soon, but... I want to flip this thing over and show you guys the table today. I'm very happy with the color match between these chairs and this table. And I'll show you guys a little bit later. I think Ryan's on a call and I just need him to, you know, help me flip this over. I can't do it just by myself, but we need to get all of this cleared out. Just like the boxes and all this stuff. We actually went to the apartment and dropped off a ton of cardboard boxes last night. So that was nice, but we still have uh, lots to do. It's honestly nice when you invite people over to your house and you have like X amount of days to get shit done. It definitely helps with the motivation a little bit because all the shit just needs to get done anyways. Yay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We turned it over and it actually fits pretty well in the space. Obviously with all that out of the way, it's gonna look even better. And I'll obviously show you guys what it looks like when we build all the chairs, but that's gonna take a while. So for now, we have this and one chair, I'll go get it. Perfect. You gonna push it in all the way? I feel like I shouldn't though. <laughs> it looks weird, so. Guys. Are you serious? Look how good this color matches. I told you guys. Wow. Okay, these chairs. Where did I get these chairs? Walmart? Something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I feel like it was Walmart. Anyways, I'll link them below. I'll link this table below. This table was actually not as expensive as I was thinking it was going to be. It was like maybe under $600. And then these chairs were like under 300 for two which i was gonna splurge on dining room chairs but i think these look really good i'm really glad i got these when we were building them it scratched up a little bit but we'll just take a little paint pen to it i think the only thing i don't love is that the cushion's gray i wish it was like anything else but gray because it just like looks a little dingy when it's all done i think it's gonna look really good and actually the gray doesn't look too bad when i'm standing far away i'm editing a vlog very big day because i finally have somewhere to sit at while i work 
which is so nice, but I feel like this room is a little dark. It's also like cloudy outside, and I was just like kind of dozing off for a second. So I might need to get like a lamp in here, make it a little bit more moody lighting. I'm exporting this. I need to make the thumbnail. I really want to post it today. I also just wrapped my friend's birthday gift, and I think I did not a horrible job, but I could have done better. I just really don't know how to wrap. I feel like I really want to get better at that. Um, but I did a little cute brown bow on it. And um, me and my friend Nancy were in this home store. I actually vlogged it. Um, we went to Marabu and we saw all the, I don't know how to say it. It's called the Asseline maybe books. They're like the really colorful books that are super trendy. She picked up the Grease one, the Mykonos one, and she was like, oh my god, this would be so cute to have because I think that's where they went on their honeymoon. So I made a mental note so I could get it for her for her birthday. She is like four days after my birthday. I love a Sag sister. And tonight we're actually going to do another festive thing. Last night we went to um, uh, the Four Seasons. Tonight we're going to Hotel Van Zant, and I think this holiday thing is more of like an igloo experience. It's Nancy's birthday today actually, so we're gonna celebrate there. And the boys are coming, so it'll be a fun little night and hopefully there will be food and drinks and all that. Um, but it did say like light bites, so I didn't want to um, have high expectations for food. So I'm just gonna make some chicken and we'll do like rice bowls. Ryan actually told me the other day that it would be really cheap to like have Chipotle cater and just like make it a meal prep thing. I think I've seen that on TikTok before, but I was like, no, like I'll just do it. I got this. So um, I bought out my frozen chicken today and it was actually just Trader Joe's like already marinated chicken. It would probably be cheaper if I just marinated myself. Um, so I'll do that next time, but I already had that, so I was like, I'll just use this. Hopefully that's yummy and it will keep us a little full until we get the light bites or whatever. It's only 4.30. Oh, oh, I was going to say it's only 4.30, but I literally told Ryan we should leave here by like 5.10. So that's 40 minutes and the chicken's not going to be done cooking until like in 25 minutes. So I don't know what my head is doing, what my internal clock's doing, but something's not aligned today. <laughs> Ryan's got Bollywood music playing and we're making Chipotle bowls with Trader Joe's chicken shawarma. All right, what do you think? Cheers. I have to shake it. Like Chipotle? No sour cream. Oh shoot. You know what? More cheese. Next time. Oh shoot, I have cheese, I have cheese in the fridge. Healthier. We'll do it better next time. We're in a rush. We forgot a lot of things. Went to the event and I totally forgot to vlog anything, but I'll put some iPhone clips right here. And now we came back and Ryan built me four of the chairs. What do you think, babe? I did a good job. Yeah, you did a good job. You did a really good job. What do you think about the color match? I mean, I think I've said it like m multiple times in this vlog, but I think I did a pretty damn good job matching those chairs to you. The table. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Can we get you here? I know. Become a chandelier. No, I don't like that light. <laughs> I was gonna have this changed out, or Mimo said he would when he was here, but I didn't want to like rush getting a chandelier. So this is what we have right now. Not great. Not bad. But maybe we can get a lamp. Or something like until. This. What, how many was this? This was the 63, so this is the the smaller one. So Why? How small is the breakfast nook going to be then? Um, 38. Mm. Why? Also, I think you can push this, pull that leg towards the wall a little bit, and it'll make it more flush. What do you rate the comfiness of the chairs? Uh, four. <laughs> four out of what? Ten. Yeah, I feel like they're nothing special, but also, like, they're not uncomfortable, you know? Yeah. And also, if we're eating dinner here, we're not going to be in it for very long. But, obviously, I will be... What? This chair is... This one's wobbly. This is it because I put those pads on it? No. It's just like this. Uh-oh. This needs to try anymore. So the legs are kind of different on each side, which I did not realize, but... I mean, I don't hate. I guess they kind of like turn in. So, 
Interesting. I was editing this vlog and I realized I wasn't very informational about the table So I wanted to give you guys a few specs in case you're wanting to buy it I know I was like researching and trying to find all the videos I could find on TikTok and YouTube And I really couldn't find anything So let me take you over to the table and we could talk about it a little more The dining room is finally cleared out for the most part at least There's a rug behind there, some pictures in the mirror But overall it looks way better than what it did It was a disaster in here But this is what the table looks like with the chair we did get the smaller version, which was 35 inches wide this way and then 63 inches long this way. The bigger version is 91 inches long and so I just felt like it was going to be too close to the door and there wouldn't have been too much space on this end so we couldn't even sit someone there to like pull out their chair. I literally just had an epiphany moment looking at this table just now, but what do you guys think if I turned the table this way instead? Do you think it would like fill the space up a little bit more? I'm so curious. Maybe we'll try it when Ryan gets home, but comment below if you think I should keep it how it is or turn it. I think I showed you guys the legs, how this one's like vertical, this one's horizontal, and then that one's vertical, and then that one's horizontal. So it's nice because it does fit a chair at the end really nicely because if these were both turned in like that, it would be way too small. I know I told you guys that the chairs were from Walmart, but they're actually from Home Depot. And they're like under 200 for two. I think it was around 170 when I last looked. Since I don't have my desk just yet, I've been using this as my desk. So I've been sitting in these chairs for, you know, a couple hours on end. And I think they're pretty comfortable. I know Ryan gave it like a four out of 10, but I would give them like, you know, maybe like an eight out of 10. I also want to show you guys the final product of the railings. It looks so freaking good. He is pretty much done, but there is an issue because at some angles, the paint doesn't look like it matches the um, like paint that we painted the whole house. But it's so weird because we literally got the same exact paint. Like we read the paint bucket that was still here. But at night when you like turn a certain angle, this looks a little bit more like matte than what we already had painted. But like I said, it was the same exact like sheen and everything. So I don't know if it's like we need to do a couple coats or what, but... I don't know, it's really hard to tell right now, obviously. But let me remind you guys what it looked like before. It definitely looked a little just outdated in my opinion and now it looks so modern and very sleek. Ryan says he actually likes the stair noses not painted. What do you guys think? I feel like it needs a little bit of stain, but also the guy that did the railing said like maybe you could just do a clear stain just so that there's a little bit of contrast and then that way it's like sealed off a little bit. But I don't know, I feel like I should stain them. That is it of this vlog, but get excited because it is December and I've decided I wanna to try to vlog as much as possible. So we'll see how that goes, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.